you mentioned that point actually, and, I, and, I, and I'm very interested to, to contextualize it from a jurisprudential point of view. So, you know, tatbir, what is the, the fiqh aspect to it then? Fiqh aspect, I have to tell the people that please refer back to your marja, mm. because the marja have different opinions on bloodletting. But majority do accept it, uh, do allow it, and uh, his eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Salik Shirazi, says it's mustahab. Now the reason he says it's mustahab, now you could refer back to his Rasala Amaliyah and if you go to the pages 601, the recent Rasala Amaliyah of 601 there's a section on Ashura, there's a section on Tatbir and he gives his, uh, his what you call, call the Istidlal mm. of, of where he has come up with this uh, fatwa, his fatwa and he says that in Bahar Anwar we have references to the Ayamma and the Ahlul Bayt uh, bloodletting Mm. Where they would hear the Masaib or they would have seen. So the one is Sayyidah Zainab when she saw the head of Abu Abdullah in Sham on the spear, she hit her head on, onto what we call the pole of, of the, the carriage mm -hmm. that she was in and she started to bleed. Another one which is in Bahar Anwar is Imam Sajjad. Uh, Imam Sajjad was speaking with his companion Jabbar and when he was uh, telling Jabbar what happened, he got very, very emotional. He grabbed the nearest thing which was a lamp. And he hit that in his head, and they say he fell unconscious on the floor, and there was blood pouring out. Also, today I was listening to a lecture by Bashir Najafi, who was a marja in Najaf, and he was describing how Imam Sajjad, where he, a companion came to Imam Sajjad and said, I, was, I had a dream, and say the Fatima Zahra was in that dream, and she had her blessed, uh, the head of her son, uh, Imam Hussein, in her lap, and, and she was crying and wailing. When Imam Sajjad heard this, he hit his head uh, on the wall. And broke his nose. Mm. Uh, so, just on that point, actually, of certain personalities uh, hitting themselves with intense grief, um, there is a there is a, um, a historical um, narration actually, which mentions that I think it was Awais al Qarani. Teeth. Yeah. yeah. So, and this is actually in the presence of Rasulullah. Rasulullah. So, yes. if Rasulullah had no issue with Awais yes. uh, hitting his mouth with a stone and let's just be let's just be real here this is what the historical you know text will yes. say the person hit himself with a stone yeah. causing his teeth to break and bleed every right? single one right so if rasulullah had an issue with that because of the man showing intense intense yes. pain he would have said something definitely but because he didn't can we take that as the marajah will take that definitely. as, as, there as is, evidence there is definitely um